Yo, 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 yo. Whoa, you weren't lying. <laughs> Your board's over there. Sorry, bro. So I'm up here in Aspen, I'm up here on a work trip, and I thought I'd do a super quick episode on my cinematic MacGyver toolkit. What are the things that I use for every trip? Become a makeup artist all of a sudden? So this is actually my cinematic MacGyver toolkit. Store all of these nuts and bolts and... You guys know who MacGyver is, right? Do not make me feel old, please. John, you know who MacGyver is, right? Everything in your camera bag is either this or this, quarter inch or three eighths. So for your smaller cameras, DSLR, mirrorless, whatever, quarter 20. For your larger cinema camera, production cameras, you're gonna have both quarter 20 and three eighths. This is a really good foundation to know because when you order parts for rigging, building out your camera equipment, whether it's on a gimbal or a shoulder mount, you know exactly what threads you need for everything. The mic, quarter 20. The light, quarter 20. Cheese plates, quarter 20. 3 8 Once you know this foundation, it makes everything else a lot easier. So that's where having a good set of Allen keys is really gonna come into play. Sometimes I forget these, so the best tool is always the tool that you have on you. This is a little bike tool. This thing is so effective. You have a flat head, you have Phillips head, you also have quarter 20 and 3 8 little Allen keys. It's a $2 keychain. This is my number one MacGyver tool. 44 pocket jewelry organizer, amazing for cables. We have power, data, and audio. And then we got 22 pockets dedicated just for video. Bro, why aren't they labeled? As soon as I have a spare three and a half hours, in fact, it's so helpful that I did an entire one just for rigging. So we got all my screws, we have my quarter inch 20 jacks, quick release plates down here, we have cheese plates, a whole dedicated GoPro mount section right down here. You know, I spent so much time on the road, I don't wanna lose any more time packing and repacking cables and screws. Even even for the day trips, I have one of these in my backpacks. You guys ever wonder how astronauts have an enormous amount of information about everything? I mean, think about it. They have to pilot the ship. They have to be mechanical engineers. They have to be a scientist. They have to have a huge medical background in case someone gets sick. All of this information just condensed into one brain. Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield actually creates a one pager, which is basically like cliff notes or a cheat sheet. So why can't we use the same principle for our camera equipment? I have a ton of cameras. I can't remember all the settings for everything. So I just put like little labels on every single piece of equipment on my C300 Mark II. I don't shoot on it that much, but I have to shoot on it for work. It's industry standard. So C Log 2 is the best for highlights in dynamic range. C Log 1 is best for low lights. 1DX Mark II, also a work camera, severely underexposed for most dynamic range. My laptop doesn't have the fastest transfer speeds on one of the ports. One of them is really fast, one of them is really slow, despite them looking identical. One of them is 20 volts, one of them is 12 volts. 20 volts will fry your sh if you plug in a 12 volt. Such a useful tool. I always have a cheese plate, but I also have the right rigging components. Quarter 20 jacks. These are super helpful. You can screw anything that has a quarter 20 mount. The next item are spacers. You can adapt a 3 8 or you can adapt quarter 20. You also have these jacks too. These ones are 3 8 and quarter 20. And last, you have these little adapters right here. So just in case you have something that's 3 8 and you need to adapt it to quarter 20, you screw it right into there. You can get a five pack of all of these pieces, which is definitely enough for a starter rig for $10. Rigging equipment. These magic arms with a clamp are like amazing. <laughs> magic arm with a clamp on it is a deadly combination. You can attach this to your rig. You can mount monitors. You can also mount lights too. So like I got my little Yong Yo light. I can essentially mount this anywhere. Nice little rim light, it's so quick. So I always have some sort of adhesive or like repair kit, zip ties. I mean, small ones are great because they're sturdy. You can daisy chain them together. Velcro is a must for smaller equipment that you have to stick on your rig, very helpful. This is the coolest, nano stick gel. They're like super sticky. You could get really creative. Oh, you want a little time lapse? You got a GoPro? Boom, now I got a time lapse. This is really, really sticky. I wonder if it'll stick on the ceiling. Look at that. The best part is it's totally reusable. You just wash it under hot water and let it dry out. Back to normal. 
fishing line is also another big one that I use for a lot of like rigging stuff. This week I used it on my Mavic Pro 2. How many times have you lost these guys? A little bit of fishing line, boom, they never go anywhere. So I'll typically travel with one black shirt and one white shirt. You know, most DPs in Hollywood, they wear black, not because they're like artists or whatever. It's because they're trying to minimize reflections from like shiny surfaces, mirrors, glass, you know, windows, that kind of thing. It's harder to see this in reflection than it is this. I normally just wear a white shirt underneath. If I'm filming low light and I need to balance extra light on the subject, I will mount a small portable light on my rig I'll turn it all the way up and bounce light off of my shirt and bounce really soft, diffused light on the subject. So fast and very effective. The number one tool comes with me on every single film set, whether it's a big production, small production, or just vlogging, is a healthy dose of optimism. Every single production I've ever been on, something goes astray. That's just the nature of this business that we're in. So when things go into in left field, it's up to you to stay level-headed, to stay cool, and move immediately into problem solving. This is the reason why MacGyver is such a fing G. Every time he gets put into some weird scenario and he's gotta find his way out, he's not like blaming others and beating himself up. He instantly moves to problem solving. I guarantee you, even if it's your fault that you f up, if you take accountability and you move immediately into problem solving, you will get hired back. Anyway, this is Josh Yo saying thank you very much. Stay creative. Now go be cinematic MacGyver. You can't be cinematic MacGyver without a pocket knife. Boo yeah. I used to start out with Leatherman Wave, it's $99. Then airport security confiscated that. Then I used the Leatherman Rebar, which is $60, and I lost it. And then finally, I got the $35 Leatherman Rev. This has all the tools that I actually use. Pliers, you got the knife, I don't even use those. Then you got a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver. It's got a little pocket clip. Anyway, this is Josh Joe saying thank you very much, stay creative, and go be a cinematic MacGyver.